Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in if you've been with us so far. Um, we're on the inaugural cruise of Morella Voyager and today is the third day of the cruise and we are docked in Ajaccio, which is in Corsica, which is a little French island in the middle of the Mediterranean. So this morning after we got up, we headed up to the kitchens um, and we grabbed some fruit, uh, pastries and coffee. Um, then we got ourselves ready and went ashore to explore the local area. We decided not to do an excursion um, on this uh, location and instead uh, we had just looked online to see what was available to do uh, in the local area. Uh, so we uh, went ashore with my mum and aunt. Um, the port itself is all quite flat and it's well laid out in terms of there's a like a green pathway yeah. um, with a little person on it to, to you know show you the way to sort of walk uh, to the terminal building and then uh, once through it um, it was about a 10 minute walk yeah, um, to the little square I think it was called uh, Palace no La Plaza Foch uh, we we, we, we said a different name yesterday, um, which probably can't be uh, said on YouTube. Um, but we we learned that it was the pronunciation was Fosh, um, and uh, so it was about a ten minute walk to there. Again, it was just along the 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 the, the water side, so it was quite flat. And my mum and aunt uh, didn't have any issues with uh, using their walking aids uh, to that square. Uh, whenever we got to the square, um, we decided that um, from our research online. We would go on a little tour, uh, which it was uh, by Le Petit Train, which is the small train, and it was a little trolley kind of yeah, like trolley train. train. Yeah, yeah. So we had a small queue there. Um, there was two tours available, um, and we had went for the forty-five minute tour. There was also an hour forty-five minute tour, but due to time restraints, we went for the forty-five minute because it left earlier and it meant we had more time then to explore the port. Yeah. And it was just a, a quick sort of tour around the city area. Um, it uh, it was it cost eight euros, and uh, if you do decide to do this little trip, they only accept cash at the kiosk. And yeah. um, if you're with anybody that has a walking stick or a walking frame, that can't be taken on to the train. But you can leave it there, and it, it was safe enough to leave at the kiosk. Um, uh, the lady that was there sort of kept an eye to it. So. About 15 minutes into the journey, um, basically the, 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 the small train, a car from a side street uh, had reversed out into it and everybody was like, oh, we'd stopped really suddenly and one of the cars, I think there was three carriages and one of them had actually hit this little car. Yeah, well, the car <laughs> was trying to reverse, reverse out, out. Like, so, literally reversed flying out of the side street into the train. Yeah, and uh, it, was, it said its view was blocked by a parked car. <laughs> we weren't derailed. We continued on anyway. To be fair, the driver didn't, he didn't really even ask, ask was if anybody we were hurt. Okay, um, <laughs> the um, but uh, yeah, I don't think he was. Uh, he thought it was probably quite funny because then later on, we had made a stop at a a, a monument to do with Napoleon, yeah. and um, he, he sort of tried to crack a joke by getting back on board with a, a crash helmet on, um, but uh, yeah, so that was eventful. Um, yeah. But uh, <laughs> the. Um, so for, for, I know some of the passengers were kind of like, oh, and every time then the, the train after that sort of breaks, yeah, everybody it was, a, was like, oh. Everybody uh, was on edge yeah. and their nerves were wrecked. <laughs> um, so like I said, it was 45 minutes. Look, it was fine. It wasn't, it wasn't like blowing our mind or anything no. in terms of a tour, but it was okay to pass 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and like I said, it was, it's a, it was a beautiful city to see. Um, and afterwards, we just had a, a browse around some of the local shops um, and picked up a couple of souvenirs and things too. After that, we had a peruse around some of the shops. We just made our way back to the ship. Um, we actually had sat for um, about half an hour just doing some YouTube work and catching up on social media because there was really good Wi-Fi at the port. So after that, um, I was feeling a bit peckish. Well, we both were feeling peckish. And we went up to the kitchens and I had the Chinese food from Bamboo. Yeah, you had a really nice um, uh, sweet and sour pork, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a battered pork yeah. and lovely uh, fried rice. Or it was like a lovely seasoned jasmine rice or something. Yeah, I had basically a uh, roast pork dinner 
uh, wrapped up in a, a Yorkshire pudding, which was amazing. And uh, I hope they do it again, actually, up there, because I probably will have it uh, before we leave uh, on Saturday. Um, so um, the, after our lunch, we, we just spent some time um, outside, uh, chilling in the sunshine. We went and visited another couple of um, venues on board uh, just to get some uh, pictures and to check out what they were like. The one thing we always uh, forget and miss out on on Morella Cruise is the um, afternoon tea, which is served in the normal buffet restaurants. So we made sure at lunch today that we kept a little room. Uh, for that so we decided to go back up to the kitchens at 3 30 and at one end of the kitchens and um, it's all laid out where there was sausage rolls there were scones there was shortbread uh, sandwiches um filled rolls and um, so there was there was quite a and selection the, and we desserty type cakey yeah bits. cakes yeah. and desserts and things like that so um yeah we took a few of those and um it, it was it was quite nice actually yeah, um, so we were glad that we we stored a little room for that um, and to note on that one the it was quite self-serve whereas a lot of the other venues in the kitchens are covered in glass and it's the server it's the you, servers serve that you. serve it to you yeah. which <clears throat> It's yeah. fine. It's yeah, we, we, we prefer that, but there is people on board at the minute that we've spoken to that are horrified that you can't pick your <laughs> own food, um, which everybody feels differently about that. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the afternoon tea is self-service. Well, that evening for dinner, then, we decided to go to Abuela's, which is the onboard Mexican restaurant. Um, this is complimentary, and you also don't have to book it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to book it, right? Yeah. Um, and it's located at the back of the ship next to the summer house. Yeah. It opens at six thirty every night. Um. Because uh, we we actually thought it was early. We were early. We were yeah, early. we were early. So yeah. So it opens at six thirty every night, and uh, as well says it is complimentary. So, the menu was basically a traditional Mexican food. I had the nachos to start, and Johnny had the empanada. And then for our mains, we both had the chicken and chorizo burrito. Mm -hmm. And for dessert, I had the churros. And yeah, you I had the churros, had too, the churros yeah. as well. Yeah. For me, the starters were definitely the highlight. Mm -hmm. And the burrito was okay. Mm -hmm. it, it lacked a little bit of seasoning, maybe a bit of flavor for me. I don't know how you felt about it. Yeah, the the burrito was okay, it was okay. Uh, and so was the churros. Uh, it was the just churros were sort of very, very average. I, I thought personally they'd be hot, and mm. I thought it, it, it was described in the menu as being you could dip them, but mm. it didn't come with any little ramekin to dip anything into. There was just sauce over them, yeah. and they weren't warm. Yeah. So they, the, the, It was just okay. It was um, just okay. Like the, it was just okay. It, it, didn't blow our socks off if we're honest but it was nice and like it's it's a it's a great offering you know we're we yeah. really, you know it's it's nice for Barella to throw something different into the mix um plus there is items on the menu that are supplemental charge yeah. um the, the couple Posados had a a sharing pork um yeah dish and it dish. was and it wasn't a, a huge charge so we we did have a bit of food in yeah we had food in yeah if we're, if we're being honest should have got that yeah, we should have got that uh, but we were just in the mood for burritos uh last yeah night. Um, so yeah, so after our meal, um, we wanted to go uh, to Flutes uh, to uh, push uh, the button for bubbles and uh, so we had a, um, a bubbly cocktail uh, before we went to uh, the evening uh, Broadway show um, in the Broadway show lounge. Uh, so tonight in the theatre it was um, Sammy Lomax, um, a guest artist who was brought in um, f to perform uh, songs uh, by Dusty Springfield and Friends and I can honestly say like I don't think we're huge Dusty Springfield fans no. it's probably not a song we would pick you know or a, an artist would listen to all the time on Spotify but um, she was really good singer so even if you didn't you know weren't that big into Dusty she was just a great singer she was a good singer and she was funny as well yeah like she you know, you know she told us little like 
um, you know, little stories about her and little yeah. stories about Dusty Springfield and things like that. And one of the things she said, again, we didn't know this, uh, one of the things she was talking about was how um, Dusty was sort of blind as a bat and she wore her dresses with sort of big arms because she used to write lyrics on her arms yeah. so they'd be covered by the dresses. But we'll have to she check that one out on yeah, Google we, to make sure. Yeah, make sure she's <laughs> accurate on <Yeah>. that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good show, a good 45 minutes show uh, the theatre was really busy uh, for that and everybody really enjoyed it there was yeah, a few no, people at the was, end on the really good, as yeah. well so after the show we made our way to the back of the ship to the squid and anchor there was a game show on the squid and anchor called love and marriage so we had a drink and we sat there for a while yeah so it, it's just really like a, a, a te their own Morella's own take on the Mr and Mrs show that was on TV, mm -hmm. uh, where couples answer questions about themselves, and it was hosted by the assistant cruise director and uh, Jenny the Vixen Ryan uh, from yes. the Chase. Um, so she's really earning her crust this week on board. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was really busy. Um, we then decided to make our way upstairs to the electric rooms. We made our way up to the electric rooms, which is on deck 12 at the front of the ship, as we'd arranged to meet Paul and Carl from Paul and Carl Loves to Travel. Yeah, so um, we went up there for a few drinks, and uh, as it happens, then the silent disco was starting. Um, so for anyone that hasn't been to a silent disco, they basically give you a headset to wear. There is two channels. Um, one was playing songs from the... 60s, 70s and 80s and then the other one was 90s and noughties so people basically you just decide which you want to listen to so it is quite a lot of fun and it is fun to watch as well even if you don't want to get up and have a dance mm -hmm. because you have sort of one group of people sort of singing one song and dancing a dance to that song and then you have like another group of people who are dancing to and singing a completely different song so it is good yeah. crack um and uh yeah, so after the silent disco was over, then uh, it was time for the not so silent disco, um, and uh, it went on till just shortly after one, um, and uh, the electric rooms wasn't that busy last night. There wasn't, wasn't a great deal busy, no. of people there. There was some of the show cast and entertainment team there, um, as well as it was their evening off, and it was really good seeing them have a great time uh, as well. And another thing about the electric rooms, the service well that that we received up there was really good i don't think i ever went empty with a drink it was yeah probably not a good thing to be yeah, honest <laughs> but uh yeah the uh, every time your glass was nearly half empty the the waiter staff was straight over uh, asking if you wanted another one uh we were drinking a cocktail last night called thai punch Ta oh, was it thai punch? thai punch yeah so thai punch was uh, the favorite of the night last night uh, so we had these thai punches it tasted like an orange just drink called umbungo that we used that I used to drink as a child yeah. years ago anyway. Yeah, just tasted like a, a, an orange diluting juice or yeah. something, yeah. Um, and uh, and then I did have one called uh, Jamaican Me Crazy. That was quite nice too, uh, actually. <laughs> so uh, we'll probably get up there because we'll want to try some of the other ones then at some point then through the rest of the cruise. So that was our um, third day um, on board. Um, we were in Corsica, we had a lovely day uh, ashore and a, a lovely time on board as well. Um, we hope you find this video useful. Uh, as always, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon uh, to be alerted then the next time we post a new video, which will be very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye bye.